بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد as a reminder for myself and my brothers and sisters in Islam and may Allah preserve us and you and forgive us and you and guide us and you amin ya rabbil alamin i wanted to mention reading from imam anawawi's immense immensely beneficial book riyadh salihin a beautiful hadith of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam which reminds us to not make our houses like graveyards and to keep our houses protected from evil and ourselves and our families protected from evil and one of the ways to do that of course is not to listen to music and not not to listen to beyonce and not to watch uh things that are displeasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in our homes and may Allah forgive us of our many shortcomings i mean ya rabbil alamin but however the way in which we can protect our homes from this type of evil is by listening to the advice of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in that we read surah uh, ayatul kursi ayatul kursi from surah al-baqarah عن ابي بن كعب عن ابي بن كعب رضي الله تعالى عنه قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يا ابا منذر اتدري اي ايه من كتاب الله معك اعظم قلت الله لا اله الا هو الحي القيوم فضرب في صدري وقال ليهنك العلم ابا منذر رواه مسلم من هذا الحديث that was in sahih muslim the hadith of ubay bin ka'b radiyallahu ta'ala anhu <coughs> and he said <coughs> He said, "O oh, Abu Mundir, do you know which verse <clears throat> do you know which ayat in Allah's book is the greatest?" I replied, "It is Allah la ilaha illallahu al-hayyul qayyum," which means Allah none has the right to be worshiped but he the ever living in the rest of the the ayat thereupon he he sallallahu alaihi wasallam patted me in the chest and said rejoice by this knowledge o abu mundir in this hadith of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam it illustrates for us the importance of ayatul kursi and that ayatul kursi is the greatest verse in the quran in the book of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that is because what is contained in its meaning is so immense and so great and that this emphasizes the tawhid allah ta'ala and it mentions some of his divine names and attributes also this verse ayatul kursi mentions 10 sentences if you will which mention the attributes of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and all of it contains ikhlas in tawhid you know sincerity to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it also illustrates that the knowledge of tawhid is the greatest knowledge that you can have wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiy